So this is some of just some of the pictures when we went down to Skid Row uh, to do some uh, to do some C- help. CJ, wait, wait it, I'm, I'm confused, man. I, I'm, I'm subscribed <laughs> to Status Cool, and Status Cool said RBN don't do anything. I'm so I'm, oh, I'm confused. Yeah. Are, are, you t- are, you tell- yeah. are you telling me that the white boutique managerial class lies about? A group of working class <laughs> black activists? What is it? Are you wait? I, I, I thought he said you we did you did nothing. I'm confused. They would never lie about black organizers, uh, right? I, I, I thought Jordan was on the left. Well, he's upset that you don't put this on YouTube, so it's good you're showing this now. Yeah, our boy CJ put in oh, work. Yeah, uh, put in work. Are we gonna do that uh, once a month? That's a once of that's locked in. So next, next month is 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 the July one is 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 coming. What? Yeah. What so you you gonna be down there once a month? Once again, I'm confused. I'm subscribed once a to month. Status yeah. Cool. Um, I listen to Jordan. He said we don't do anything. And not only did he say we don't do yeah. anything, he said he voted for Joe Biden. You know what? You guys will know the excuse that Jordan gave you for why he drove for vote for Joe Biden. I can find the clip. He said, I was in the streets, I was talking to people. So since I was in the streets and I was talking to people, that's why I'm gonna vote for Jim Crow Joe. So so CJ, you was talking to people, you're not you not voting for Biden? I'm confused. Not at all. That's why Jordan said you vote Democrat. Not at all. <laughs> the people in the streets. Because if you're in the if you're in the streets and you're voting for, that means you shouldn't be voting for Biden. That to me, that's why I always say, if you're a journalist, you should be the top person screaming not exactly. to vote for Democrats. If you a journalist, David Sirota and Jordan um, from Status Quo. But go ahead, Nick. Biden. The water crisis and oh, then sorry, endorsed man. and voted for the vice president that helped cover it up. What a fucking clown. Like your work, you just fucking making money off of pain. That's what you do. You make money off of pain. You put cameras in front of people's faces who go through trauma, and then you vote for their impressors. So when I explain this stuff to Jordan, that's why he lied about us. Not because of the bullshit you make up. I ratioed mm. him multiple times. I exposed <laughs> him. I explained his concept to him. So then he worked back around. He can't say that. So you make a bullshit that like CJ and RBN don't yeah. engage in mutual aid, despite the fact that we it's everyone sees it. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I love like and, then, and he always and during that interview he was he kept saying, "Oh, I don't watch, I don't watch you guys, I don't watch him, I don't know." He knows yeah, he I don't watches watch us, okay? Because he it was a tell in the, in the interview. It was a tell in the interview because he was like, "I don't watch you guys." He said it multiple times, and then at the yeah. end he started to reflect. Oh, you guys said this, and he's like, "Well, I thought you didn't watch these guys." And the same with RBN, they. They watch us. That's the only reason he could say you're doing all this content. Like, how do well, you know what, made what that, content That's we're what doing? made Go that ahead. so challenging from our from our point of view is that there were a lot of contradictions. It was a lot right. to keep up with. To it, be was, honest it, was, it was it was it was it was boxing water. Like, yeah, it was it was, it was boxing, boxing water because it wasn't like he would stand up and make an argument for the squad because right. that you can go after because you would say the squad sucks and Jordan would be like, yeah, they do. Yeah, I agree. I so agree. that was so. Then you lean in. It was very judo, you know. So then you would lean. But that's in, what they do. And then he would say something that was completely contradictory, and you'd go after that. And then he would move over yeah. here. It was. It was. That's it was what they very, do. That's, yeah. When you're yeah. virtue sig- when you when you're a when you're virtue signaling, that's why you have that that fluid position because you know you don't want to get like locked into your terrible position because it's like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're pretending you're 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 virtue signaling about all the radical things. It's almost like they're they want to be part of a cool club. They know they're not in the cool club crowd. You know what I'm saying? The radicals, the ones that want to do the most. Well, but the but they're Jordan, not there, but they have to signal for that. Go ahead, Russell. With Jordan, it's really complicated. Like even preparing for that interview, it was difficult because you know, I'm reading through what he had to say about the squad, about the Democratic Party, about mm-hmm. the DNC. And 90 percent of it is pretty much what we would say. And then there's I'm voting for Joe Biden. Yeah. So it's like, well, what? You know, it, it makes it very di- because That's you can just why. go in on a shit lib who's going to yeah. be like AOC is trying really hard. He doesn't say that. He doesn't say Keaton said it best right at the top of any response to, well, if you don't like gossip channels, why'd you go on the Vanguard? And aren't you angry that they didn't even promote it? They put exactly. two gossip pieces on it. And he, <laughs> it, he we says, well, ne- no, I respect that they are a gossip channel and they admit uh, it. We Man, that never saw that coming. 
Yeah. Well, at that when point, that, I, I was mean, like, I'm CJ, done. Honestly, I'm done. <laughs> honestly, I felt, I mean, I wasn't going to hang up on him. <laughs> I wasn't going to stop uh-huh. our own show. <laughs> but at that point, I really didn't know where to take things. Like, I never really recovered for that, I'll admit, because the point of establishing that, the point of doing that first was to just get out of the way. Okay, the obvious truth here is that, uh, you know, you don't have a problem with them burying your interview because they're your pals, you share audience, and you don't want to cause problems with a show that you share an audience with because then they might turn the audience against you. You know, that's just the game. Everybody plays the game, right? That was, it was actually, I was actually trying to be conciliatory it's like okay let's just cut the shit let's let's not <laughs> pretend that you don't play the same game everybody else plays Every, everybody does it there you know so let's now let's get that out of the way okay fine now let's talk the issues the issues being that tweet he sent where you know okay the, the anti-vax and the pro-putin and mm. the uh what was one of the other things the homophobic like what are these issues that you have a problem with tucker carlson Let's go through those. If you notice, I had a lot to say about Ukraine in that interview. I wanted to litigate all those issues. That's what I wanted to do. But when it was, very, it became very obvious at the very beginning that I wasn't going to be able to nail him down on any position because well, I, 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 well, a lot of well, not only that, 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 this is a good example. Right in that context, he said, "Well, you know, if they want to be the Beavis and Butthead right. of the Midwest, <laughs> whatever." So you can't be like, <sighs> "Well, why are you complimenting them?" Because he's not. He's totally yeah, trashing them, and that's then not saying, what they but, themselves, but yeah, though. no, I don't have a problem. No, no problem. Their show. So the, go the, ahead, the, Nick. The, the problem that uh, you had in that interview, it, because you thought that Jordan would at least care to have moral consistency, because you nailed him on the Vanguard thing, which was masterfully done. Because his criticism of us, he's like, we don't gossip, do it. Right? He said we don't do anything. Only thing we do <laughs> engage in celer- uh, in in channel gossip, which, as you guys know, is obviously untrue. Right. right. <laughs> well, that's his criticism of us. He said we don't do anything. We we do we engage in channel gossip. But then you nailed him. You're like, oh, you have no. What's why are you okay with the Vanguard though? Who does nothing but that? He said, well, the Vanguard they admit that they are just jack offs and don't do anything. <laughs> right. So if you admit that you don't do anything, then it's okay to not do anything. But if you do stuff and you don't admit that you that. I don't understand his logic. No, so well, it's, it's it's logical logical the whole thing. Obviously, the, thing, obviously, the, the, whole thing real, like obviously the real okay. hard on is for Jimmy. And so I said, well, Jimmy refers yes. to himself as a pothead comedian six times in every broadcast. So he's admitting there that he's well, a comedian admit, doing a political comedy guys. show. Well, right. we, thing just, is, well, what we I... admit we just fucking guys doing the best we can. So right. if you right. are putting in work and you're engaging in mutual aid, apparently you can't do that. But if you don't do it, like the Vanguard, then you can do it. Like you guys see how that doesn't make any sense. And then when he he like, yeah, I don't care about that contradiction. You was like, bro, seriously? Like that's when you yeah, like, no, bro, I, I, I didn't, it was I didn't right. have anything no. beyond that. Like, no. I, I honestly felt completely without my legs for the rest of the interview because there's just no way to to define the terms of the conversation past that point, right? I mean, it's just it's impossible. That's All right, my he, my, he, mo- he my that moment clear, like that was when I tried to litigate the Twitter exchange that you guys had back in I think it was November <laughs> when he was in the hospital, mm-hmm. and. Look, man, I brought up, I was like, no, I don't think, I I believe him that he didn't realize what the beginning of that thread was or who he was talking to. Because I I just can't imagine he would say what he said if he understood who he was talking to. That was my Vanguard moment. I could not, because I thought I was giving him an opportunity to climb down from that and be like, oh yeah, that was my bad. He doubled down. He was like, to tell you the truth, I have no respect for them. I was like, at first, I thought he was going to, he started to say something that was like, no, I think they do support white supremacy. And my jaw dropped. I said, hang on, you're saying that they do? He was like, and then he realized this is going to be the end of my career. And he was like, no, 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 I don't, I don't mean that, but I don't respect them. I was just like, what do you do with that? Well, the thing like about I couldn't Jordan. Believe it. Well, the thing about Jordan is that you know I I, I remember because when Heartland's media started in 2017, this was when also he was really high and mighty with TYT politics before he mm. broke away and trying to do uh, truce against the machine. You know when he had that whole scandal surrounding him, and we actually did a segment when we were on radio back in the day about that. And that's when we kind of had our falling out with Jordan because we wanted to get his perspective. And when we did the segment, you know, without him giving us a a response back, this was like 2017, 2018, I believe 
he he came at me and Daniel like, oh, well, I guess you guys really aren't hard lens media after all. And the thing is, he's the one who inspired us to really to get involved in social you're not, media. You're not hard lens media. You're that yeah. show in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is like, <laughs> dude, you knew who we were because we were with him when we went to East Chicago when the uh, when the entire entire black community was again being poisoned and displaced because they were built on top of a remnants of a lead smelter factory. But I'll talk about that for a later segment for another day. But we were there with him, and the thing is. Who helped rebuild Jordan's entire career? It was Jimmy Dore. 